Welcome back, part two. Right now, let's take you to an interview with Lindsey Hammond. Some strong words there from Chris Klein, and I really hope he comes through with them. It'll be fun to see. Hey, what the? What? Hoy, wait a minute. I know who that is. That's Rick Acid. What the hell is he doing here? What in the hell? Rick Acid is here? Former WCW champion? What's he doing here next GWL? What in the world is going on? I don't know. I can't answer that right now. Let's take you to our next match right now. The debut of Solara Logan. Uh, she wanted an opportunity. She got it. And right now, making her way to the ring. I mean, I don't know much about this girl, but... Well, we're... I have a feeling that we're about to find out. I mean, I'm, I don't know what her style is, what what she brings to the table, all that. All I know is that she's from Toronto, Canada, She and that she's from some independent wrestling promotion, and also one called FEW, Female Entertainment Wrestling. I, I don't know what, like, those are the initials of that wrestling promotion that used, she was a part of now here next to WL. And she's going to be taking on Tammy because apparently Tammy took it, took exception with Extreme Tony talking to Solera Logan earlier. And there she is, Tammy. <laughs> and let's get it straight here. I don't think Solera Logan is in any way, shape, or form related to the true phenom CJ Logan or the Grunge Master Reese Logan. Well, there's Ruby Carter, the company Tammy, the ringside, <laughs> and not very, not surprising at all. I mean, I don't, I don't like the, the, how this might turn out, because with Ruby Carter have to get, help out Tammy in this match, it's gonna be a two-on-one advantage, from what I can see. Hopefully, Solera Logan, the this newcomer. Let's see what she can do. Tammy, former four-time XGWO Women's Champion. And here we go. The match has started. And now Solera throwing a punch. And now. Wow, Shimbreaker. Right now this unknown and kick to the, to the midsection. Right now taking it to Tammy. A little surprising there. Another shit breaker, and, and Tammy, she needs to stop playing around, because I mean, be here at XGWL since day one, winning the, the title four times, and they're a, a roundhouse kick. I mean, she has to know better than just to, to toil around and just and just give give the fans less than 100%. A nice clothesline there by Solera Logan. I mean... Even though her best effort was at that third annual Rose Knight Invitational, even though she lost, she still needs to do a hell of a lot better. I mean, this thing, this thing has been going on for a long time now, and she really needs to, to start picking it up here. If she wants to even be competitive, I don't know if she can even come close to trying to win the women's title for a fifth time. Oh, with double knee there is by Solera Logan. And what a punch! Taking down Tammy. Wow. And now Tammy getting back up. Got swatted away from that drop kick. And now Solera. Another punch to the side of the head. Now Tammy getting back up on her feet. Another roundhouse kick. And Tammy trying to use those. Those kicks, those high, those high kicks to the to the head. 
don't know, that be that may be her only beacon of hope for any match. And now scoop slam there by Solara Logan. And now Tammy raking the eyes. And now this rookie just taking it to Tammy here. Nice deep arm drag. And I gotta say, Solera Logan is really showing us something here. Stomping away at Tammy with those stiletto heels. <laughs> and now, wrenching the arm. Oh, got kicked in the thigh. And now, Tammy just got hit with that neck breaker. And now, rake in the eyes out of desperation, I, I assume, because I don't know how Tammy just... Gives less than a hundred percent here now. Solera Logan with those punches, that thes press. Let's see what else she can do. And oh, again another poke in the eyes. But I'm not surprised at all. Yada. Tammy with another high kick to the head. I mean those kicks really have to start taking their toll. But Solera still fighting strong, just throwing those punches. Damn, just and now pounding away at the head. And now throwing punches in bunches. Kick to the midsection. And now Solera with a go behind. Picks her up. Oh, atomic drop. That's gotta hurt. And now Tammy taking exception to that. And what a punch! What a powerful haymaker! Knocking Tammy down and out. Tammy getting back up. Shoving off and out. Tammy. She needs to pick it up. And now, Solera Logan. Oh, wow. Nicely done. What else can she do here? What's she going to be setting up for? Oh, right out of the corner with that spear. And now, Solera Logan going for the cover. Ref, what are you doing? And, oh, oh. Come on, really? Ruby Carter is on the apron distracting the referee and referee telling her to get down. And Solero Logan still with the cover. And referee turn... Oh, come on, again? Come on, ref, we gotta get her out of here. This is ridiculous now. And now... Come... Really? This is getting out of hand. And now Tammy taking advantage of that distraction. And finally the referee tossing Ruby Carter out of the ring. Out of, out of batting her from ringside finally. And now we can have a fair one on one match. But in my opinion I think Solero Logan had Tammy beat there. Let's see how Tammy can rebound if she can. And just hits her with that float over DDT. And Tammy's hurting. And now Tammy trying to make something happen here. Nice counter by Solera. Grabbing hold of the wrist. And now to the abdominal stretch. Nicely done. Oh man, nowhere for Tammy to go. And Tammy able to counter. I mean, Tammy does have all the tools to, to be great in the as a champion again. I mean, look at her high. I mean, six two. I mean, tall, taller than any other any other woman here in the XGWO locker room. But Tammy just does not take advantage of that. Those long legs of hers, because she she poses too much like she's on a magazine cover, which is really ridiculous. This is a photo op. This isn't a magazine shoot. This is a a wrestling ring, and you need to bring it. And now, Solera Logan again. Wow! I shudder to think if she's gonna go for that spear one more time. And and she is. And boom! Again with a spear. And now Solera going for the cover. One, two. And that's it. You know, I don't like to 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 criticize about Tammy, and, but really, if she would have stayed on her a bit more, 
Tammy would have had a chance to win this one, but oh no, she decided to to do her Tammy just being Tammy, and and she paid the price for it after take, taking on being a victim of two spears, and here's the second one, which led to her downfall in this match in the three count. And really, if I had a silver coin for every time Tammy did this, wow, I can only imagine. But regardless of the fact, Solera Logan showing us something here, gained the victory in her debut at Malicious Intent. That's a pretty good debut. Really just doing us a favor here and now. And Tammy's still down in Oh, what, Ruby? Come on now. Coming back to the ring and, and now attacking Solera Logan from behind? Come on. And just stomping awake. And now both of them just talking smack. Come on now. Is that really necessary? Yeah, I know the fans are not liking that one one bit. And I agree with the fans. I mean, that was ridiculous how Ruby Car just came in, back in, and attacked Solero Logan from behind. Well, anyway, let's take you to to backstage. Another interview with Lindsey Hammond. Wow, should be interesting to see. Wait, what the? the f what the hell's AJ Cool attacking the Great D from behind? Come on now, really? Come on. It's ridiculous. I don't know, man. I just don't know what to say. Anyways, let's take you to our next match for the XGWO Women's title. As Rebecca Moonlight Nightfall will be set to defend, I mean, excuse me, she's going to be set to be challenging Kendall Lewis for the Extreme Global Wrestling League Women's Championship. She's won women's titles before in singles competition. She's the former one half of the XGWO Women's Tag Team Champions with Alice Blackwell. And really, this is a great opportunity for her. I know Kendall Lewis will have a tough challenge going up against Night Moonlight right there. I mean, this. Uh, let's not forget that rivalry she had part of most of last year and early part of this year between her and V13. I was a little surprised how. how XGW, the XGW Women's Locker Room was able to eradicate the collective last year. <laughs> that was really something there. What a great opportunity. I mean, I can't stress it enough. I mean, very talented. Brings a lot to the table. And that's all I can pretty much say. I'd like to give a shout out to everyone watching on all of the CAW forums. No bias. All the, all the for CAW forums are welcome to see this. And now, here comes the XGWO Women's Champion, Kendall Lewis. Two-time two XGWO Women's Champion. Formerly one half of the XGWO Women's Tag Team Champions with Obsidian. At least she doesn't, I mean, there's no, I mean, no finesse in her, just, just straight up beat you down and just throw punches, reckless punches, and that's what, what was able to win her the title twice, and she's holding it right now. I 
I'm pretty sure she'll be celebrated with a couple of Bloody Marys, a couple of White Russians, and and a lot of a lot of Jack Daniels. <laughs> anyway, you see that referee holding the XGW Women's Title. What it's all about in this match. Can't wait for this match to get started. And now the wait's over. There's the bell. And now we get this match underway. Now a couple of strikes there from Kendall Lewis. And now, damn, just throwing Moonlight to the corner with authority. And now, look at this, just choking away. Come on, really? That really necessary? And now Kendall Lewis. Oh, what a backbreaker. And now, the surfboard. And now, Moonlight getting back up. Trying to go after Moonlight. I mean, Kendall Lewis here now. What's she going for? Oh, what a suplex. Nicely done. And now, trying to wear, wear down Kendall Lewis with that sleeper hold. And now a form shot. Irish whip reversed. Inverted atomic drop there. And that takes down Moonlight. Oh, right. Just working that leg. I mean, good strategy. Just keeping the offensive. Trying to slow down the much quicker Rebecca Moonlight Nightfall. And now, oh, nicely done. Off the springboard. But Kendall Lewis just getting back up, showing her strength. And oh, what a haymaker. And now an elbow to the legs. Nice reversal. And now another reversal. And now Moonlight sending Kendall Lewis to the corner. Oh, misses that double knee. And now, again, hard Irish rip to the corner. And it, But this time, Moonlight getting back up. And now, Moonlight. Oh, nicely done. What a takedown. And now the sleeper hold. Continue to wear down Kendall Lewis here. Oh, what a punch. Now, a punch there by Kendall Lewis. And now, reversal. Oh, nicely done. And now, Moonlight. What a snap suplex this time. And now, what, what else she has in store here? Can the Lewis game back up? And now, oh, what a takedown. And now, going for the cover. One, two. Only a two count. Wow. The, the will to win here. You got to bring your A game here if you want to come out with the championship. No time to messing around. Just working on the legs and now. And now going with an ankle lock. Is she going to make her tap out? Will Moonlight get it here? No. Kendall Lewis able to escape. And now a knee left. Wow. Moonlight getting back up. And now Kendall Lewis with a counter. And now going for the pin. And Moonlight able to quickly kick out. Now a couple of kicks. Now, oh, sending her to the outside. And now Moonlight gained back up. And now, oh, both of them missed with that one. One was trying to hit something and dealing with the springboard. But now, Kendall Lewis going to the, to the top rope. We've seen this before. Oh, but she missed this time. Wow. But now Kendall Lewis able to get up. Oh, what a haymaker. And now Kendall Lewis just continue to work on the legs, trying to w slow her down because we know that Moonlight likes to go high risk, but Kendall Lewis also trying to go high risk. Connects with the elbow. And now, wait, what? She's going to go to the high, high risk district again? Oh, this time she did get that corkscrew senton. Wow. 
And now, a third time? Really? Oh, but this time, went to the well once too often. And now, form shot by Kendall Lewis. And wow! <laughs> what a, what a, what a strike. I don't know what to call that, but now, this, a nice bulldog. And now, shoots the half and goes for the cover. One, two, almost three. Kendall Lewis gains some separation. Wrenching the arm. Nice counter by Moonlight. And now, into a submission hold. Chin lock. Try to wear down Kendall Lewis. Try to force her to submit, but she won't. Able to get out of it. And now, oh, kick to the back of the thigh. Dropping the elbow. Collar and elbow. Who's going to come out of this one? And now, oh, nicely done with that T bone suplex. And now, the cover, but Kendall Lewis able to get the, to the ropes. I, and now, Moonlight sets her up with that electric chair drop. Just staying on top of these and now going to the top rope. Connects to the senton. And now going for the cover. But Kendall Lewis again able to reach the ropes. Oh, what a counter. And now, again with a collar and elbow. Who's going to get the upper hand here? Moonlight does. And now... Oh, nice, nice takedown. I, I like to give a shout out to all the fans watching from a, from different countries, especially here in the Philippines, where we have a lot of XGWO fans. Oh, what a punch there by Moonlight. Be sure to check out the website, xgwl.webs.com. Also on the Facebook page, as Kendall Lewis just with that death press, just punching away. Facebook.com slash XGWL show. To see the the shows in their entirety as as they get posted online, whether it be from the blip page or the YouTube page. And now Kendall Lewis again going high risk. Core Crusetton misses as uh, Moonlight was able to get out of the way at the last second. And now Moonlight there's a soccer style kick to the to the back. And now. Go with a camel clutch. A good setup, but Kendall Lewis able to reach the ropes. And now Kendall Lewis gets back up and another knee lift. Now an elbow. Another elbow. And now Moonlight getting back up. Wrenching the arm. And just, just, just staying on that arm just to try to take away some of that punching power because Man, <laughs> they, they, all those punches from Kendall Lewis, they all look like they hurt. Damn. Oh, what a knife edge chop. Oh, wow. What a move. And the effects of the match is already taking their effect now. And now Kendall Lewis with a go behind. And now, damn, just sending her to the outside. And now what's Kendall Lewis get a, a chance to to collect her thoughts, shake the cobwebs off at and now Moonlight catch getting a breather. And now sets her up with another electric chair drop. And now a sent a sent on off the ropes. And now Another sleeper hold. Try to wear her down. Man. Oh, wow. What a roundhouse kick out of nowhere. And don't tell me she's going to go for the Scarlet Moon, but Kendall Lewis able to counter. And now. Oh, the Moonlight Driver. She got it. And now go for the cover. But again, Kendall Lewis. Able to reach the ropes. Moonlight, she needs to have better ring awareness and try to keep her away from, keep Kendall Lewis away from the ropes when she goes for the pin or, or submission hold. Right now, 
Moonlight is in control right now, but Kendall Lewis getting back up. I mean, this is the thing with these matches here next to WL when it looks like somebody's on top. The other, the other person starts to make a comeback. And another submission hold, but called for a rope break. And now, Moonlight dragging, dragging Kendall Lewis to the center of the rope. Center of the ring, I mean, and with that roundhouse, that spinning heel kick. And now, Kendall Lewis. Oh, just plants it with that DDT. This could be a momentum shift right here. But Kendall Lewis, she needs to shake up the cobwebs because the effects of the match has been really devastating. And both these ladies are, are, have been beaten, beaten up throughout the course of this match. I mean the the will to win the the raw determination that's gonna be the the one that's gonna get the victory here and now Kendall Lewis gained back up form shot oh got hit with that haymaker and now dragging Moonlight to the center of the ring but no Moonlight gained back up and now delivering a bulldog nicely done Moonlight look it looks like she can win this one. But wait, what a counter. And now, Kendall Lewis with a bulldog of her own. Damn, and Kendall Lewis taking control of the match. Can she build on this momentum and now going for the cover? And Moonlight able to quickly get back up. I mean Kendall Lewis, she needs to do a better job of putting Moonlight away. And now Moonlight trying to collect her thoughts, shake the cobwebs off. Oh, what a punch. And now Irish Whip sends Kendall Lewis to the corner. And now, oh, nicely done. Wow. With a whisper in the wind. And now, oh, another roundhouse kick. Man. She could be going for the Scarlet Moon and right there she's got got her set up and connects Scarlet Moon I think she has this one one now she's going for the cover make it official one two and that's it we have ourselves a new XGWL women's champion and her name is Rebecca Moonlight Nightfall Wow Congratulations, Moonlight. You deserve it. What a victory. Going up against a much tougher, stronger Kendall Lewis. And able to pull it out at the end of it. Wow. Congratulations one more time. Man, we're not done. We still have some more matches left to go. Well, what? My vote for match of the night has to go to that match right there. Congratulations. A third congratulations again to Moonlight for, for finally winning, winning the XGW Women's title. We still have more show to go. I know coming up in a bit we're going to have Christopher Klein taking out Bruno Battaglia in a no disqualification falls count anywhere match. Wait, what's going on? Wait, what the? the hell that's Trey Steele what what the we gotta get some medical attention over there come on we got who took him out the really I don't know what to say but let's let's go to our next match right now Chris Klein Bruno Battaglia no DQ false count anywhere and here comes Bruno Battaglia wait wait what the what the wow really damn I didn't even see that one coming. Chris Klein just attacking Battaglia from behind. And now the referee sounding the bell. We're officially underway in this no disqualification false count anywhere match between Chris Klein and Bruno Battaglia. And Battaglia with a couple of punches. Trying to drag him to the to the to the ramp area. Back towards the ring and now inverted atomic drop and now throwing more punches and what a haymaker there by Battaglia 
Really? Come on. Is that necessary? Now, Chris Klein getting back up. Damn! What a spinning heel kick. Come on, Klein. Take him out. He's been a pain in the ass for a long time, and now hits him with that super kick. Now, Chris Klein picking him up. Now, sends him, throws him towards the ramp area now. I mean, all the referee can do is, is to, if someone taps out for a submission holder, count the three count. That's all the referee can do at this point. Oh, what a, what an elbow! And now Battaglia with a shoulder charge. Damn. And now Battaglia picking him up. And now throwing Chris Klein to the ringside area. And now both these men in the ring now. But this match has already been underway for a few minutes already. And what a move that was from Chris Klein. And now he's heading to the outside. What's he going to go with here? Wow. You can't go wrong with a steel chair. Oh, what a Van Daminator. Right in the, to the face of Battaglia. Now he's going for the cover. Ref, make the count. Not in time. Not even a one count. And now Bruno just going after Klein with those punches. And now Bruno with the headlock. Surprised going with a headlock in a, in a match like this one. And now European uppercut from Chris Klein. Hits him with that bulldog. Oh, come on. Can't be taking, taking apart my announce table. Really? I know that Chris Klein has some bad intentions here. Oh, what a Michinoku driver. Let's see what else he... Oh, wait, going for the cover. And Battaglia able to kick out. And now Bruno with the punches. And now more punches being thrown. And now what's Bruno going to do here? And now, throwing him right on my announce table. Come on. And now, setting him up there. Oh, no. Don't tell me that Bruno has some bad intentions. Just a knife edge chop. And another one. Try to keep him in place. And now, Bruno. Go to the top rope. No, don't do this. No, no. Don't. Damn. What a... Elbow right through my announce table. Now I have to be standing up here. And that asshole Battaglia. I don't know how Chris Clay is still standing in. What a DDT. And now Bruno going for the cover. And how the hell did Chris Clay get up from after that? After being put through that announce table. After got being hit with a DDT. How is he still standing? And now Bruno with another bulldog to Chris Klein. And now just showing off. Come on. Not really necessary. And now going for the cover. One. Only a one count. Damn, a couple of punches there from Battaglia. Another punch. Misses that haymaker. And now Chris Klein. And now sets him up on the, on the Spanish announce table now. Or the Tegalo announce table. Well, that's what the, the language they speak, but regardless, but but the Philippines is the third la largest English speaking country in the world outside from the United States and the UK. Damn, just throws him face first on that announce table now. Oh, what a neck breaker from Chris Klein. And now he's going for the cover. One. And Bruno able to kick after one. And now just throws him right there. Right into that Spanish announce table. Oh. And now Chris Klein. He's looking to. Come on now. You want to do this. I know you. I know you do. And now he's going to the top rope. Him. Talk about eye for an eye. He got him. A little retribution for a few minutes ago after Chris Klein himself got put through 
through my announce table earlier, but I don't think he's done yet. Getting a guitar. Oh! Damn! <laughs> what a... What a... <laughs> Man, I'm just shocked there and... Bruno Botanically able to put on the brakes. And now a couple of strikes there from Bruno. Oh, rake in the back, really? Is that the best you got? And Bruno with an, an atomic drop. And Bruno just trying to shake the cobwebs as they continue this madness on the outside. Now Battaglia going with a Singapore cane. Oh, what a what a bulldog there by Chris Klein. And now picking him up. And now Chris Klein with another Michinoku driver. Now dropping the elbow. And now throwing him right at the security railing. And now. Oh, throwing him up and over. And Bruno slowly getting back up, trying to get back over that security railing. And now Klein picking up that Singapore cane, just whacks Bruno with it. And now Bruno fight, trying to fight back here. And now. Chris Klein with a counter. Oh, what a scoop slam. And now he's going for the cover. One, two, almost three. And now Chris Klein setting, throwing Bruno back into the ring. And Bruno with a punch. And now Bruno just, come on now, really? Just choking. Chris Klein there. <coughs> Bruno shaking the cobwebs. Trying to re regroup here. Trying to get, gather his thoughts together. And now Bruno with a gut wrench suplex. And now. Oh, come on. Again? Come on, this is ridiculous. And now more kicks, this time to the back. And Chris Klein had enough. Oh, what an enziguri kick. Really whacked him upside the head. And now he's going for the cover. One, two, almost three. As Bruno was able to kick out at the last second. And what a spinning heel kick. And now Chris Klein going back to the outside. But Tagler is slow to get up. I mean, both these guys are winded. They're exhausted. And now clip to the to the chest right there from Battaglia to Chris Klein. And both announce tables have been taken out in this match. And now Battaglia is set to do a little cleaning here with that mop. But Klein just canceled that order with an atomic drop. Trying to get him to get up. And Battaglia able, getting up. And now throwing him back in the ring. Damn. And now Chris Klein with a leg drop. And now going for another weapon. Another steel chair. And now Bruno getting back up. And throwing some punches there. And again. Again choking Chris Klein. Come on. Yeah, Bruno must be real proud of himself after that one. And now he now he has a steel chair. And just throws it to the outside. <laughs> and now Chris Klein with a counter. Oh wow! Damn. What an elbow. Taking a page from Bataglia's playbook. And now Bruno tried to go after Klein here. And now being thrown into the security railing. And now Chris Klein again to throw Bruno over that security railing. 
And the fans with appreciation there. Man, what a battle we've had here. And now, hit someone with that Singapore cane. And now, oh, what a move that Cyrus should like sweep with that Singapore cane and another whack with that with that with that candle stick Singapore cane candle stick it's the same thing and now wait what's he doing wow what a tiger bomb and now Clyde picking him up oh the cane liner right face first on that steel chair and now he's going for the cover one two and that's it Wow! <laughs> Very impressive. Let's, let's take a look at, at this right here. How Chris Klein returning the favor, putting Bataglia through that announce table. But then Klein gains back up and hits him with that insecurity kick as we take you through some of the highlights. But, but this was very impressive. This, this Tiger Driver, Tiger Bomb. But then to finish it off here. With the K liner as Bataglas goes face first on that steel chair. And Chris Klein gained the pin, the one, the two, and the three. In a good way for Chris Klein to get some revenge, some retribution on Bruno Bataglia. Doubt all the speculators, all the, the doubters, the naysayers have been silenced about Chris Klein. I don't think Batangla is going to get up anytime soon. Well, let's take you to the back. I think Lindsey Hammond is, has got a hold of Rick Cassidy and let's see what he has to say. What? What? I can't believe what he just said. He was the one who took out Trey Steele. Now he's going to take his place in that organized chaos match. Ridiculous. And see there, Bruno Battaglia being carted in a stretcher out of here. 